Hi guys, this is Steve Nicola right, with Coach Baseball Right. Hey, this morning um, I, I saw one of the one of the folks on our on the website asked about bat size, and um, I wanted to talk about. It was a nine year old kid, and the, the dad wanted to know, or the coach wanted to know, what he should recommend for um, the parents of the kids on the team, what kind of bat they should get. And and there were some really good answers on the specifications of, you know, what what uh, other people have seen work so far uh, for boys and girls in that age group, you know, the minus 10s or the minus whatever. And that's all good stuff, but here's what I want to say. Make sure that the kids can swing the bat because most of the times the kids can't swing the bat that we give them and the back elbow comes under underneath, uh, the back elbow uh, slots prematurely and the elbow is closer to the pitcher than the knob. So I'm going to show you something. Um, I was working with this little guy today. He came in for a lesson, and it's one of the first lessons I've worked with him. And um, I want you to see what happens the back elbow. The back elbow is closer to the pitcher. The back elbow is closer to the pitcher than the, than the knob. Okay, back elbow will be closer to the pitcher than the now. Let me see if I can move the camera. There it goes. So the back elbow is closer to the pitcher than the knob of the bat. There's the knob right there. Look at the back elbow. Closer to the pitcher than the knob. Now watch what happens to the swing. It gets really long out here. This is what bat drag looks like. Okay, now that swing is a really long swing and the reason why most kids have bat drag, again, when the, when the, the knob, the knob kind of stays home, okay, and the elbow slides underneath, and the elbow gets closer to the pitcher than the knob itself. And then the bat, you'll see, moves away, moves away from the position here, it moves away, and it gets really long out this way. It happens because the bats are too heavy. So let's make sure that the kids have a bat that they can swing. Okay, now, while we're on it, what are some simple drills that you can do? One of the simplest drills you can do with kids um, is, is I have the kids do a couple of things without a bat. You can actually do it with a bat. Um, make sure that they, they, they learn how to, to pull, okay? And then they can learn how to punch and you notice when I punch right here, you notice that the elbow is staying behind the knob. The knob of the bat would be right here, right? I'm holding the bat, the knob of the bat would be right there. So I'm punching, punch and finish, punch and finish, and a simple, a simple pull, a simple pull. These are all simple drills. Uh, another simple drill is you can have the kids push, slot, and finish the rotation. Push, slot, and finish the rotation. Just real simple drills that you can start to get the kids going with in terms of avoiding bat drag. And then I have a whole bunch of drills on the, the hitting site um, that will help you. Uh, so the kids, when they actually play in a game, they're not, they're not naturally just, they're not naturally getting into that back drag position. So we really want to avoid bat drag, and one of the best ways we can avoid bat drag is to make sure we, we get them a bat that they can swing. Hey, I hope this helps, and uh, don't forget to, if you have any questions or whatever, just post them on the site.